all the things that I've gone through in my life, all of the really painful, hard things that I've gone through, and I'm using all those things now to help people and empower people and turning the things that were painful into something that is restoring and changing lives. Many Americans believe that human trafficking is something that happens over there in some other country. And the reality is that every country is affected by human trafficking, including the United States. Here in the United States, we have both sex and labor trafficking. These patients are actually presenting into emergency departments throughout the country. Um, and they are being seen for the complaint that they come in for, and then they're discharged without any services or without anybody recognizing what's really going on. So we have a survivor advocate who has joined our team. Her name's Christine. She comes to our emergency department twice a week, and she really works with our staff to find out if there's anybody that could be at risk for labor trafficking as well as sex trafficking. The patients respond to me because I come at them with a lot of empathy, care, and concern, and I'll share that what I've been through. And that is usually the bridge that needs to happen for somebody to take the next step or, or accept the help. Many survivors and many advocates believe that having a survivor part of a victim response team would be very beneficial. And I can say for me personally, as a victim at age 14, if there was a survivor who was part of the law enforcement team and healthcare team that was trying to connect with me, it would have made all the difference, not only in that moment, but moving forward. When I'm able to relate to them on a, on a level that says, I've been there too, I understand, I, you're not alone, and you're not the only one who's ever gone through this. I've been there too, and there's lots of other people who've gone through what you've gone through, and we're gonna figure this out together. As we talk about these individuals that have been identified and have accepted help, you know, Christine and I will have a conversation, and her response is, Mark, that's great, but how many of you think we've missed? And so we've communicated that with the staff of, we're going down that right path, we're identifying these patients, but how many of them are we still missing? The staff are getting more and more trained just by nature of, me being here, just in having conversations and working alongside of each other, in just becoming aware. The staff has become really emotional about this, both anger as well as disappointment that this is real and that it happens. Uh, and they want to change it and they want to fix it. It is scary and it's unfortunate and it's terrible, but the fact that we can do something about it is the most empowering thing. Even though there are hard emotional days, it's just like, I go home and feel like I don't ever want to stop doing this because we're helping people. Dignity Health values survivors. I don't think there's any other healthcare system that has survivors leading, championing their program. And Dignity Health is showing the healthcare space that these lived experiences bring just as much value to the table as clinical expertise. We're helping people like every day and every day is an adventure. I love it. Like it's great. <laughs> it's wonderful.